time, everybody clap your hands. So frustrated you guys like beyond frustrated yes my son back there has a Christmas outfit on he refuses to take off his Christmas PJs and when you have a toddler you pick and choose your battle on this one I am NOT fighting he can win this one on his own so I went to I called one haircut place you have to have a mask for your kids to be able to get in to go get a haircut okay fine I'll put on a mask on them for the safety of the hairdresser for the safety of everybody and their mother and their father if need be okay fine and then not only do you have to have a mask for yourself you have to have a mask for the person getting a haircut that's fine understandable but you can't take more than just one child in there by themselves I live in the state of California and regardless of all of that with or without this being a rule I wouldn't leave my kids in the car. So I have three children. My husband is at work. My kids need a dang haircut. So what am I supposed to do with the other two? Drop them off at the fire station and go pick them up later just because my other two need a haircut? I know this sounds so dumb and stupid, really, to say the least. But it's like, I have three kids. All three of them need a haircut. What do I do? Do I wait until my husband gets home from work? Oh, wait. The haircut places are going to be closed by then. Oh. <sighs> So, I guess y'all are just going to look like that, and that, and that. You look cute still. <laughs> You guys, I got so frustrated that I just came home. I think it's probably best that I just not do anything. I called Ryan, I vented to him, and then I told Ryan, I was like, you know what? I'm just trying to do something today, and this something is just not gonna happen, so I'm just gonna go home, put my feet up on the recliner, and watch a movie, and at the end of the day, I can say at least I watched a movie, and you know, if, if that's the only thing I do today, then cheers to me. I even took my wallet with me and everything. Bubby, Merry Christmas. This is a bad day, huh? Update on my frustration. I came home and ended up just having the boys do their own thing for a little bit. Now they're actually outside and I'm getting ready to go outside. I'm going to cut myself up some fruit and join them. I just needed to be left alone for just a few minutes and sometimes I go through that as a mom I know it's hard to believe it but sometimes I go through that as a mom and today was one of those days I just it was like one thing after the other after the other and all I wanted was haircuts for my boys and then like I just had to sit back for just a second and realize this is like not the end of the world calm down Rosalind but when you just, me as a person, when I set my mind to something, I really want to do it and I want to accomplish it. And getting three kids, three, not one, not two, not, not three, no, three, three kids out of the house by yourself can pretty much be a mission. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to really quickly do this. And then when we come back, we're going to be able to have lunch with them and blah, blah, blah. So I took three potentially hungry kids out the door to be able to make sure that they were able to eat or to get haircuts, to be able to make sure that they got haircuts and that didn't work out. When things don't go my way, I often find myself frustrated, but getting older, being 35, and it being 2020, and with all of the things that I've experienced in my life, especially with this pandemic or COVID-19 or whatever you guys wanna call it, it's just, I guess when you just take a step back and you think about it, it really isn't that bad after all, so. It's just nice to be able to take a deep breath. I actually soaked myself. I just sat on the chair and I started editing a um, vlog really quickly. I just kinda searched through music and I just soaked myself up into that and it really it gave me life and i'm grateful for that so um i guess what i'm saying is that i'm grateful for my youtube family i actually really quickly went through some of my comments and i replied back to them actually while i'm on here i just want to say this really quickly first of all i want to say hi to leah and mike hello you guys i've been wanting to do this for such a long time and i've been forgetting to do it but today is a perfect time to do it because you guys made me smile on my comments you guys always make me smile on my comments and if you have been a part of my channel for 
any amount of time. You guys already know that I reply back to every single comment. Yes, it's not like in a timely manner per se, but define timely, right? But I do reply back to all of you guys. So I just, I just wanna say thank you for your comments. If you ever feel like leaving a comment, leave a comment. I will try my best to reply. Anyway, I wanted to say hi to Mike and Leah. I think I said that already. Um, wacky family vlogs. You guys are always commenting on my um, on my channel and making sure you guys are up and at it on my on watching my videos and things like that. So I'm grateful for that. There is a person by the name of Jessica G. I want to say thank you. I see a lot, a lot of your comments on um, down below on my comment screen. So thank you for taking time out of your day to be able to just say hello to me every single time you get a moment. Um, and also, it's Ariana's life. You often will write um, something on my comments, and I appreciate that too. I also want to say to Alyssa W, um, you actually have made it a point for a very, very long time to just say hey or say something on every single one of my vlogs and oftentimes it's hey but I just want to say I see you I see you so hey right back to you girl let's see I'm just gonna go through some more of these I go through my my phone and look at my channel through my phone often and I also have my notifications turned off so oftentimes I don't even know how to do this on my computer um the challenger riviera you guys are a first time subscriber you guys came from just fam's channel so welcome thank you for coming here um trying to reflect on the positive comments so let's see ashley short I see you so much commenting so I'm grateful for your comment and I just want to say thank you for taking time out of your day to be able to spend it with us even though it's not the whole day but i just want to say thank you there's Alyssa w again let's say hi we have a Dwayne cole hello hello and then l sender is it s stenter s-t-e-n-d-e-r you are saying that hey i'm the first comment by the way i love your channel and that was on one of the the toddler knows how to pray blog so thank you for your comment on that one Simply, you've commented on so many of my videos and you came here from Just Fam. You've mentioned that, so I want to say thank you for taking time out of your day to watch the video. And not only that, but to comment on our video. And of course, I want to mention Barbara Brock. I see your comments all the time. You're actually a trooper. You've been with us for a very long time. So I'm grateful that you've taken time out of your day to be able to spend it with us. And of course, not forgetting to comment. And same goes to Isabel Vasquez. You've been commenting on a lot of the videos and I'm grateful that you actually take time to watch the videos so yay thank you patsy mullins we we go back we go back to my youtube live days when i was just on live often and i had a better grasp of my um, youtube channel and my work work that i have and the kids and stuff now i just can't make it on live as much as i used to but just want to say hey um mayor stasio if i'm saying it correctly you're an og also so i just want to say thank you for your comments and then of course my cookies cookie bobby shimon bobby you love your lefty i read that and then i'm gonna actually leave it off with that that is my sister-in-law that's silas's aunt they adore each other. They're like each other's best friends. So I want to say hi to her. She's actually the one that gave me the idea of reading back my comments, my sister-in-law. She was like, you know, that's maybe something that you want to consider doing. I was like, oh, really now? And then here I am listening to my oldest brother's wife. I actually listen to her all the time. I really got to go outside. My neighbor's daughter is outside and she's hanging out with the kids for a little bit. And I told them to stay in the driveway and I meant to get out there like five minutes ago and I'm still not there. But I'm going to cut up some fruit really quickly and I'll see you guys outside. I made it outside with my fruit and I actually even finished eating all my fruit. You can probably tell from... Did you guys hear that? You did it? Somebody did the Elsa call. Who was that? Our neighbors are our neighbor's son is upstairs in his room. Say it back, Bubby. And he's doing the gosh, I have to you guys if you've watched Frozen 2, you know what I'm talking about. I just call it the Elsa call. <laughs> Bubby, did you hear it? <laughs> Say it back. <laughs> huh? 
Excuse me? Yeah, so we made it out here. I had some fruit and of course, the kids came in and joined me in the fruits, but I gotta go back out. I gotta go back in the house and put the rest of it away. Or just gotta put the bowl away. I actually had the boys, Malachi! Malachi, come put your backpack away. I had the boys help me clean out the SUV because they've been a huge part of contributing to putting just stuff in the SUV and not taking it out. And I was just, I have a bad back. You guys are probably sick and tired of hearing. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Okay, put it back where it goes. Jonah, go in the house and put your backpack where it goes. Because what I don't want is you guys to clean the house and make a mess of the car. Pick that up and throw that away too. I don't want that car clean and then the house dirty. It makes no sense. You may as well have just one dirty thing instead of two of them, okay? Can I just put up there with the other No, ones? that can go away in the garbage can, but this one too. Your backpack, actually you can put it up there. Your backpack needs to be hung up. Okay, I have so much to do. What I was saying is that I have a bad back and you guys need to go in here in the laundry room and put the clothes in the washer, not on the floor. Capiche? I can't sit up. Okay, I can help you. But do you hear me? Yeah. That is exactly what I had told you. I didn't say, hey, Jonah and Malachi, go take everything out of the car and just throw it wherever you feel like it. I didn't say that. I would never say that. Okay. So I am going to vacuum my SUV now. Bubby, let's not do sidewalk chalk in the garage. Go outside and do it. You have all this earth. Look, you can do all of it anywhere else. And actually, can you do me a favor, Sigourney? Pick up that garbage and throw it away. It's actually not a favor. It's your garbage. Go pick it up and throw it away. We don't litter. Thank you in advance. Merry Christmas. Yes. Then you go inside. Put that down. Put that down. Put it down. Good job. Pick that up and put it in the garbage can, son. Thank you. You guys, I think I have an idea of what I want to do with this area. I just, I need a little bit more time, but I'm going to do it soon. We did pull out these three here. We do got to level it soon, but I do have an idea of what I want that. We got to pull out two. That's actually not mine. It's those neighbors, but I don't know what to do with that. I think I might just keep it because it is hard to pull this out, but I don't know. Is there anything right here? Hold on. Elbow besides my scrape. Yeah, right here. Are you something's wrong with you, right there. No, that was already. And then, did you run into something right now? No, it was just the tree. Huh? The tree. You ran into the tree? No, I was climbing it. Oh. And then no. I scraped it. What? Are you tired? No. What are you doing? I'm making on this bike go faster. Excuse me. Making Bubby, these are gonna fall right on your face. You have a whole pail of of uh, chalk. chalk. You be careful, okay? What? He's gonna um help your bike go faster, Jonah. Oh, thank you. Do you see what he's doing? <laughs> Look at beep. He's just been laying here. Are you being a mechanic? No. No, no, no. Don't touch your face. You have chalk all over you. Oh my gosh, beep. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, so this note to self. My undergarment doesn't cooperate well with my not undergarment. With my top. But here's the bright side about me being frustrated, which isn't even close to like the normal frustration that normal people go through. When I get frustrated, I find myself cleaning. So my car is clean. The boys emptied out all of their crap from here. I came after them and I vacuumed it and I've got disinfecting wipes. I got this stuff, the good stuff in here. Windex and some paper towels and I'm just gonna clean everything off and just make this car look like we don't have kids and nobody lives here because before right now We had stuff literally Everywhere. I mean there was an outfit maybe even two outfits for everybody in the car There was a little bit of food. There was definitely definitely water in here for everybody 
Boo. <laughs> Boo. Merry Christmas, Bubby. And now it's pretty much clean. I didn't vacuum all the way in the back over there just because that was gonna be too much effort for me. So I left that part be. I've got the cutest little helper. Are you Santa's helper? Hmm? Are you Santa's helper? No. No? Wow. You're cleaning a window that you made a mess of, huh? Mm-mm. Yeah, you touch it all the time, babe. But you're doing such a good job. Thank you, son. So you know how I was frustrated earlier? It's a good thing that I'm frustrated. What? Let me show you. Up in the car. I noticed something. Was up. I saw the box of tissues. I was emotional. Inside. Have you seen it that clean? Did you let my dad borrow the car? Right? That's the only reason it's clean. Mm -hmm. Wow. Who lives here? I didn't go all the way in the back. Cause Not us anymore. Back was... That's... My back was hurting. It's funny that you said I want that because I liked how affordable they were. Um, funny you say that nobody lives here anymore. I was like, everybody had not one but two outfits up in here. Like, it was bad. Not I. Not mine. Mm. You, did you want this somewhere? Yeah, just in there. Or on the side of the door. It's the person that cut our tree. I really liked um, how Down affordable. Trees. Huh? You gotta, clean, look, you gotta clean this. Look, do your people a favor. Jessica cleaned it with her bathing suit the other day. That's more better. You're welcome, people. <laughs> um, where are your children? They trespassed again after they were escorted back one time. But honestly, the only reason I personally think that they were escorted back is because they were doing roundup and stuff like that. And it was a liability. So if you guys have seen that video, it's actually not posted yet. So I don't even know what your guys' opinions were about that. I'm going to continue to send my kids across the street to play at the school because I, as a parent, am okay with that decision. And it's just like a big public area that they put a big old fence around that is just my tax dollars sitting there, especially since COVID happened and all sorts of stuff. And you can't, I mean, really I'm doing them a favor by having the equipment and stuff like that continue to be used because, I mean, it would just sit there, you know, and things just go to waste if it just sits there. This is me justifying the fact that I'm going to continue to flush you, let my kids trespass. They're across the street. I actually just got out of the shower. We ate dinner. I cleaned up a little bit and I told Ryan to come out here and watch the kids so I can just jump in the shower. He's been at work all day and I've had all of the kids by myself, which is no big deal, but I just kind of wanted to just have at least 20 minutes to myself, which was really nice and really peaceful. It is 7.35 p.m. and it's just a beautiful evening out here. So it almost feels like we're at the beach. We're gonna chill out here for a little bit, probably another 25 minutes, 30 minutes or so. And then we gotta go in and bathe these children and put them down to rest. Hey everybody. everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Until next time. We'll see you next time. Come on, time. let's go.